Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and you're watching Frecky Fit Wolf. I'm introducing a new segment called Meme of the Week, starting now. Alright, so we've all seen memes. We've seen them on our Facebook, our Instagram, our Twitter. Your friends text them to you, possibly email, if you're that person. But... I want to talk about them, and not I'm not talking about the, the, the hilarious ones, the ones that, you know, you only send to certain people. I want to talk more about the ones that are motivational, the ones that a lot of times you kind of see, you're like, hmm, that's funny, or hmm, I like that, and move on. And I kind of want to examine them a little bit more and go a little bit deeper and maybe think about a different aspect besides specifically what is worded there because that's what my brain does. I overanalyze, I go into way too many details about everything, but sometimes it can be beneficial. So like with this me this week's meme is, I think it can be beneficial to think more about it. So like it goes, we all have passed. We all made choices that maybe weren't the best ones. None of us are completely innocent, but we all get a fresh start every day to be a better person than we were yesterday. And that as it is is a powerful message like if you apply it to any aspect of your life this one honestly doesn't have to be specifically about you know weight loss or food or exercise or health it can be about in general like it's basically saying don't let the past drag you down and we all have a past and especially in the weight loss world in the health and world and you know all of us on our journeys we all have paths that led us to where we are, and not all of them are obviously the best because, you know, that's why we're now on a weight loss journey and trying to better our health. And so, like, with this, like, I started thinking about my past and what led me to where I was when I first started this channel and everything before that. And a lot of times it's very hard not to let it get it get you down and you know judge your choices or you know blame other people for what led to it so like you know i started thinking growing up i my family we weren't rich we we, we weren't super stable we weren't we didn't have a lot of money let's just put it that way and so a lot of the food choices that my parents had to make was something that they could make and have it last for a few days and be as cheap as they could. So it would be things like spaghetti or meatloaf or with, you know, mashed potatoes on the side, you know, big, you know, potato soups, things like that, that you could make and eat for several days on end as a family. And um, we, I mean, we used bacon grease for everything because it was free basically you you make bacon you pour the grease into a bowl and pop it in the ice box and boom you have any kind of oil you anything that requires oil you can use bacon grease for and that's not healthy by any means i will say it tastes phenomenal that is it adds amazing flavor to anything but it's obviously not healthy and my parents, you know, did it, one, because, you know, Southern Roots, and I think that's what a lot of people did back in the day, but also because it was next to free. And so growing up, that's kind of what I was learning to, how I was learning, you know, people eat. Well, that's how you cook. That's what you do. And so as a young adult, when I'm on my own making my own choices, I'm using that history. And then also I'm throwing in the factor that, you know, I'm a young single guy and I have n not a lot of money. That wording was weird, but I don't have a lot of money. So I would also throw in, you know, running to McDonald's off the dollar menu, especially back then. The dollar menu was pretty phenomenal. Like everything was on it. And um, even, you know, ordering, you know, a meal was, you know, like five bucks rather than, you know, getting closer to 10 or 12. Um, and so I made a lot of those choices and yes, there were outside factors, but a lot of that was still my choice. If I had worked hard to learn about other things, other routes that I could go to have food, I could have. Or even restricted. Because, you know, when I say I went to the dollar menu, it was like 10 things off of that dollar menu. It wasn't like it was just, you know, let me get a McChicken 
and I'll see you later. It was like, let me get this, this, like 10 things. But so that was choices that I made. And that's what led me to being, you know, the first go around with the weight loss before I lost it. I was 360 pounds. And, um, and then I started losing weight. I, I joined Weight Watchers. This was when they had the Points Plus program. As a, if you've seen my channel, you know. And I end up losing 140 pounds. I'm behaving. I'm learning. I'm changing. I'm growing. Well, shrinking, really. And it's phenomenal. And then I made the choice that I didn't want to keep paying Weight Watchers. Because I was doing online. And back then, I don't know if it's changed now, but back then, you could only be a lifetime member if you went to meetings. And so I did everything online. I'm an online dude. So I would have to pay more once I reached my goal to go to a meeting. And I think you had to go for like three weeks or three months. I forgot what it was. But either way, something like that. And then you could become lifetime. And I didn't want to spend that much money for a few months because I'm like, I'm where I'm, I'm where I'm at. I'm where I want to be. I know what I'm doing, so I canceled it. And I started using my fitness pal because it was like, it's, it's lining up. And then, you know, from there, everything went downhill. And I, I just gained it all back. I was trying this diet, this diet, that diet. And, and I made a lot of bad choices. But those are all in the past. I am no longer doing those. I've realized the choices that I've made. I'm working at it again. And I'm not letting that drag me down. It says right there in the meme, you know, none of us are completely innocent, but we all get a fresh start every day to be a better person than we were yesterday. So that means now I can just shed the past and just own who I am now and who I'm trying to be and what I want to do with my life, obviously with health and weight loss, but with my life in general, everything that has happened is a factor and I've learned from it, but I doesn't have to drag me down or hold me down. I don't have to hold my parents accountable for what we ate as children. I don't have to hold my younger self accountable for what I did in my early 20s. It's 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 done. It's over with. It's a fresh start now. Every day is a fresh start. And even if, say tomorrow, I make a bad choice and I go get, I don't know, a blizzard from Dairy Queen, if I make that choice, I make that choice and I can move on afterwards. I, the next day, fresh start. And honestly, I'm a big believer in fresh starts can happen right after the mistake. So say <clears throat> tomorrow, midday after work, I go and I eat something that it, it uses up all my points, all my calories, and I, I'm, I'm you know devastated that I do it. I don't have to wait till the next day to get better. It's not like, okay, well, today's ruined. I made one bad choice and I can move on and make better choices the rest of the day. That's another reason why I like Weight Watchers, especially the Points Plus program, but because of all the zero point options. So like, okay, well, that happened. So time, if I get hungry later, let's grab some bananas or apples or oranges or zucchini, I don't know. But you have options and you don't have to let it drag you down. And you don't have to wait till the next day for a fresh start. Any time can be. And so, yeah, that's kind of where I wanted to go with with this whole meme. And I might have gone a little bit deeper than maybe you would have. And that's kind of what I like. Because as I scroll through my phone, I see all these things. And I, I've joined a whole lot of, you know, health groups and weight loss motivation and tips and tricks and all of that. So my newsfeed is just filled with these memes. And a lot of times I become desensitized to it because I am just, yeah, yeah, good point. Ha ha. Good. Okay, cool. And that's it. Versus if I actually stop and think and apply it to my life. I mean, the person who ever wrote these things, this one actually doesn't have a name on it. So I don't know where it came from. Um, kind of a general Google search uh, or something I saved off of Facebook. And some of them will have names, but this particular one did not. So credit to whoever it is. But whoever it was, you know, they put a lot of thought into it. And I'm curious how they would interpret it and what specifically they were talking about. That's how I would apply it to myself in my life. And I'm kind of curious, how would you guys apply it to your life? Like, is this 
you know, something that you kind of, you know, believe and, and, you know, rec can recognize in yourself that, you know, and I'm pretty sure you can, but if you want to leave an example below, that'd be great. But, you know, because we all have made choices. And that's one thing that I think is important to recognize is that we made the choice and, you know, move on from that. It's okay. We're humans. That's what we do. We make choices. We mess up. We get right back at it. So, yeah. So if you have an example that you would like to share with me, I'd love to read it below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I start posting things. Because I think this is either going to go up on Thursdays or Fridays, depending on how my schedule goes. I typically like them to go up in the morning, but it's 521 right now, so I could probably get it up tonight. So we'll see. Um, but either way, the little bell will let you know when I actually post stuff. And then please like and comment, like I said. I would love that. And let me know if you kind of like the idea. I have a whole folder on my computer of what I would like to talk about meme-wise. And if you like this, please let me know. I'm kind of curious. Like I said, I had some people message and say they'd like me to put up something else a week. And I thought this was a good route to go. Let me know if you agree. And so until Sunday when I do my weigh-in, I'll talk to you guys later.